Let's take a look at race number 10 on Saturday at Belmont Park. It is the Grade 1 Metropolitan Handicap, formerly known as the Met Mile. It's a purse of a million dollars. Let's take a look at the field. And we start with the one horse at 7 to 5. It's Cody's Wish. Look at this horse's form. Look at what he's done. I mean, really, after breaking his maiden at Churchill in 2021, I mean, basically, he's won almost every race. Only race that he didn't win was the Challenger, where he lost by neck. Other than that, I mean, he's just looked awesome. Look at his last five races. Look at the speed figures that he's posted. He's perfect at this distance of a mile. Six for six. Has a win over the track. Look at those workouts. I mean, he's got some, man, he's got some fast workouts coming into this race. Last time out, Churchill, that was off a layoff, like over seven months. He won that race by four and three quarters. Getting seven to five on Cody's Wish. You'll be lucky to get even money on this horse when they open the gate. Of course, I will use the one horse on my tickets. Out of 12 races, he's never been out of the money. Let's take a look at the two horse. At 10 to 1, it is Slow Down Andy. Trained by Doug O'Neill. This is his first race back in seven months. Last time out, Breeders' Cup third mile. He finished third. Cody's Wish, only behind by a length and three quarters. The last few races, you know, he's outrunning his odds. Out of ten races, he's finishing the money nine times. I'll tell you, I, I, I wish he could have gotten a race in before this one. Uh, I'm not a fan of that seven-month layoff. But you're getting ten to one on the two-horse. Slow down, Andy. And it's the three horse. Also at 10 to 1, it's Dr. Scheibel. Out of 11 races, this horse is finishing the money 10 times with six wins. Last time out at Santa Anita, that was off a very long layoff. I mean, he was off in like four, 14 months. Went gate to wire and won by four and a quarter. Now, he only beat two other horses in that race. It was just a Three horse field. And he put up a really nice speed figure. He's going to be forward in this one as well. It's getting Irad Ortiz. This is his first time trying the one mile distance. His best races, his fastest races, have come at six furlongs. Try getting 10 to 1. Dr. Scheibel. Written by Irad Ortiz. At 30 to 1, it's the four horse. Hoist the gold. Out of 19 races, he's only got two wins. He doesn't win much. And he finished second last time out. Cody's Wish. There's 10 to 1 in that race. I'm getting 10 to 1 on the four horse. Hoist the gold. Uh, 30 to 1. 30 to 1 on the four horse hoist to go. And there's the five horse. 6 to 1. Charge it. Charge it. Finished second in the Florida Derby last year. And didn't do so well in the Kentucky Derby. After the Kentucky Derby, Pletcher raced him in, in the Dwyer. At this racetrack, one turn, one mile, and look at what he did in that race. He won by 23 lengths, posting his fastest speed figure. If he can run back to that, he's going to be trouble in this race. Making his four-year-old debut, won an allowance race at Gulfstream, and he was the favorite, Gulfstream Park Mile. 
finished second in that race, and he really disappointed last time out in the Oakland Handicap. But he's back at Belmont for this one. John Velasquez is aboard, getting six to one. Five horse charge it. I will use charge it on my tickets. At five to one, it's the six horse. Zandon train by Chad Brown. Last year he finished third in the Kentucky Derby. You know, he's been posting some nice speed figures this horse. You know, he gives you triple digit speed figures. Practically every race. It's the last seven races. But the last time he won, it's the Bluegrass. Back in April of last year. He uh doesn't win a whole lot, but he does have a win at this track. And he has a second at Belmont as well. He made his four-year-old debut off a layoff about five months. Finished second to Repo Rocks. Five and a quarter. He's a favorite in that race. Getting five to one on Zandon, written by Flavian Pratt. Take a look. The seven horse, Repo Rocks, at four to one. Now, he's won five of his last six races, including Grade Three win at Belmont, one mile distance, five and a quarter. Put up a real nice speed figure in that race. He likes this track. Out of eight races, he's got three wins, second, two thirds. He's got some nice workouts coming to this one. Get four to one on the seven horse, Repo Rocks. I will use the seven horse on my tickets. At 20 to one, it's the eight horse, Doppelganger. So switching over to Brittany Russell. He's a perfect three for three. On an allowance race at Laurel earlier this year. Next time out, one mile distance at Laurel, one by a length and a half. His last race was 17 to 1 in the quarter handicap. Won that by a length and a quarter. Getting 20 to 1 on Doppelganger. He. The speed figures aren't as fast as some of these, but they are heading in the right direction. You know, he's running faster now as a four-year-old than he ever has. Getting 20 to 1 on Doppelganger, I will use the eight horse underneath on my tickets. Close out the field, it's the nine horse white, a barrio at 10 to 1. Last year's Florida Derby winner. Tell you, if this race was in Florida, I would use him. I would probably pick him to win if it was in Florida because it's the only state where he wins. Outside of Florida, he can't win. White Barrio is coming off a three month layoff. Tyler Gaffleon returns. But he has a change in trainer. Rick Dutro is his trainer now. Getting 10 to 1 on the 9 horse. White Aborio. So these are the horses that I'm going to use in a Metropolitan Handicap. I'm using Rebel Rocks. I'm using Cody's Wish. Charge It. And Doppelganger. The horse I'm going to pick to win while I'm not going to get cute in this one. I think one of these horses is clearly better than the rest of the field. I'm going to go with the one horse, Cody's Wish. He's one of the best horses in America if not the best horse in America. I'm taking the one on top. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Let me know who you're picking on the Metropolitan Handicap. Good luck.